In October, I left for the Netherlands to see my uncle who had been hospitalized and was in bad shape. Without getting into details, things ended up for the best considering everything that had happened, which is of course easy for me to say, with a long road of recovery ahead still. Ended up staying three months, traveling all over the country to stay with different friends and family. It was good to see them again, and for most it had been almost five years since they last saw me. After a while in the country, I became paralyzed for a couple of weeks, feeling the void of purpose in a place that looked so familiar but had become quite alien to me. Working on the videos brought me back out of it, and the last few weeks were spent working in a restaurant to earn some well-needed cash. Also to once again see a firm that everything simultaneously changes and stays the same with or without you gave me renewed determination to keep living the way I do and to continue working on my own projects. There is nothing in the Netherlands for me to do, at least not for the time being. And then, before you know it, you're back on a plane to Chile and landing in Antofagasta. Where were we again? Help Victor out for a bit with his projects while summer was coming into full swing. Quite a contrast after leaving the Dutch winter. Soon enough, we were ready to continue putting a new paint job on out. But as it turns out, there was a little, potentially costly, surprise that had to be dealt with first. Alright, so a bit of this heartening news here at uh, the customs in Antofagasta, Chile. The motorcycle stayed two days beyond the validity of the temporary import document uh, while I was gone. And uh, before the uh, extension, which was filed uh, more than two months ago, can be requested, a fine has to be paid. 5-10% per day of value. So, we're gonna paint the bike. We shouldn't paint the bike. They probably have a listed value, but we can also show the bike so they can bring the value down. Because no way Alp is valued what it was, you know, 25 years ago. And we can drop it off and show it in a terrible state so we can knock that uh, price uh, down, I think. Hey Alp, miss ya. Obviously, bark busters are way too swanky, so they gotta go. Bash blade is, of course, way too lit. Today, it's uh, convinced uh, the aduana, the Chilean customs, that Alp is a piece of shit. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't mean it, but. They have to believe it. <laughs> Long story short, Customs had a look at the bike and Alp ended up being valued at around $700. The fine? $100. Real lucky break, all things considered. This week is going to be all about getting back to painting Alp. We're going to start here with the fuel tank, which caught a lot of rust while I was gone for uh, those three months. And gone is all the rust. Almost like cheating. Oh, look at that. It's a nice purple baby boy. Congratulations. I'm uh, taking out the rear suspension so I can have attention more. This is Alps original carburetor. This is a second-hand carburetor that I brought from Holland with me with about 85,000 kilometers on it. This one has about 170,000. All the good parts into here, or keep them in here if they're good. And maybe this will solve the issue that I have since uh, New Zealand. I've been moving some parts already, and uh, this is the old one compared to the other one now. Float moves like a dream in this one, and here it's pretty stuck, and it's the same thing on the other side. So that's one thing. Here's the needle. Look at that. Around here. See that? Both needles have that. Flat spots. The needles of the second hand one don't have that. That's two. Same thing goes for that hole where the needle goes into. The bottom there. Can't really tell a big difference with the new one but it should have almost 100,000 kilometers less wear. So those are little faults in the original carb that uh, the other one won't have to a much lesser extent. And I hope that will improve performance. <music> this 
This episode is sponsored by Becker. Becker. Give us money, Becker. Here we got Black on Black Out Limited Edition. Sponsored by Becker. First start with the new carburetor on there. That's what you got our choke cable into. That's working. It's less worn. Where I look at this so far, no spitting when it's idling. Be the response is pretty good. This is, I think, the best that Elf has been running in a long, long time. So I'll have to find out on the road, though. This, this here. Take a video of this. Oh shit! My fingers! <laughs> My fingers are in the paint! <laughs> yeah, that moment where you reach for that loaded gun. Oh shit! That you wish you had. It's a hard, hard fought battle, eh, Vic? This was a battle. Blood, oh, red, shiny. paint. All very shiny. All very, very shiny. Very. Side covers. They're good to go on. Bitching job, Vic Lou. It's not a bitching job. It was a bitch of a job. It was a... Yeah. It's a bit of both. And the front fender. Do you know what the fuck Nobody's happened? Nobody's talking about the front fender. We don't mention the front fender. Uh, I don't think I even have one. Kill me. Kill me. Touch it. Don't touch it. One last time. Bingo. One last time. Don't touch the shit. And our sponsor from Becker. Hello. Here we are with Alp hooking up the final piece of the puzzle. And then that's it. A long project with ups and downs and some serious downs like my hand smudging on the top tank over there. Pain failing on the front fender ferry, but all in the whole, pretty dope. And it's amazing that Vic was able to put all this time into it. All that's left to do is ride it because that was it. See if we can uh, get her a bit dirty yet tomorrow. Because first challenge for me and help to Bolivia and back. That's uh, 430 kilometers and then back. So tomorrow I'm doing about 900 kilometers. I'm ready for it. And she's running like a dream. I just have to confirm it on the road. Maiden voyage tomorrow. And the last day, her papers are still valid. So uh, it's an Alp visa run. Out of Chile, check. Into Bolivia, check. Out of Bolivia, check. What's left over, 
Mountains into Chile. One more to go. Alba's looking shiny, ain't she? Let's go. Not a lot of air. Buenas tardes. Ah, uh, yep. Todo listo. Antofagasta. Sí, nuevamente. Gracias. Vaya bien. Chao. Chao, chao. The guy at the other side of the border asked me to uh, bring that for him to the other side. It's exactly four o'clock. We're back in Chile officially. We're all good. Great success on the border part. Made it through with copies of motorcycle documents. Awesome. And now back 450Ks to Antofagasta. Falling asleep, needed a distraction. 